so today I'm going to show you the base for two different dishes this base you can use it for um, making pasta and you can also make it use it to make cutlets so now I'm going to show you two different uh, the basic this is the white sauce so I have got about two tablespoons of butter to that I'm going to before the butter starts melting and I'm going to add a lot of garlic I love garlic so the garlic depends on you you can add four to five cloves more than that it depends on you okay so as the as the butter as the garlic is frying oh, you know there is a lovely aroma when you fry garlic in butter that's I can eat my chapati with this aroma this is such a lovely aroma so I will just let it fry not brown just fry to that I will add about two tablespoons of chopped green chilies fry that too my green chilies are also getting fried to that I will also add I have chopped four onions this size four onions I have chopped finely chopped four onions As I said, this is the base for two dishes. Okay, so you have to adjust and see because there is not much ingredients, and you can, if one ingredient is a little more and one ingredient is a little less, it won't make much of a difference. So I'm going to fry this in that two tablespoons of butter. If you want, you can add a little more butter, but I think it's sufficient now for the moment. I will just let this onions get transulent. So I will fry it for another two minutes. So here my is nearly become transulent. So as I said this there is no specific measurement for ingredients if you put more onion it's okay if you put more green chilies it will become spicy if you put more garlic it's good for your health if you put more salt be careful and anything there is chicken and anything in this you can substitute chicken for paneer so paneer you will add right at the last okay not in in the beginning you will add in in the end i will tell you when so here I have one plate of boiled chicken as I told you these are this is two dishes for two dishes I'm using so I will put this boiled chicken at this time and I will fry it along with this chicken my chicken is boiled with a little pepper and salt so I will just for a little while just let it mix to that I will add two medium sized carrots chopped okay you can hear the hissing of the sound of the all the ingredients getting fried at this time you can also add taste the salt the pepper powder if you need more taste and add it so now we are going to continue you know the previous recipe that I told you 
we made the pasta chicken white sauce pasta so this is the remaining chicken that I kept to that I added little more salt because I'm adding potato <clears throat> now this is boiled and mashed potato so to give you the size of the potato I just made balls of the potato so you can see there are three large potatoes to that I added a teaspoon of chili powder half a teaspoon of pepper powder this is some shredded mozzarella cheese and this is the same chicken that we made for the chicken pasta white sauce so this is the two things to that I'm going to add you can either add this is cutlets now what I'm making this is uh, pasta or noodle cutlet chicken noodle cutlets to that you can add one cup of noodles I'm adding noodles if you have noodles if you have pasta sometimes we use three-fourth of the pasta packet for a, for a limited amount of guests and then we have some pasta remaining so you can add that and mix up all these ingredients nicely with your hand now here I'm making the pasta the sauce for the chicken cutlet I'm making sauce again and we made sauce for the previous recipe also so fry up the maida very well with the butter very very well let the maida get fried nicely oh, it has a nice smell to this you can also add more garlic if you want or if you have garlic powder you can add if you want more but I have added enough of it in the chicken mixture so I am not adding now any more garlic you can increase your chili powder whatever pepper powder whatever you want to this now you can see it's getting brown to this I am adding one whole cup of milk for the chicken white sauce pasta we substituted little bit of water with the milk but for this we will keep it only to milk okay so I will cook it there is no lumps you can see it's a clear sauce I will cook it till it thickens up maybe a minute meanwhile I will use my hands and mix this entire mixture these cutlets can be kept kept in the freezer in an airtight box into the freezer and you can use it for 15 days it can be stored for nearly 15 days so I think I need to hold the vessel while I'm mixing so I will mix it properly and come back you can see I mixed it nicely and it is also binding well okay but now to this I'm going to not at the moment but a little later when this sauce you can see my sauce is thickening and I left it for a minute so it's begun to get lumpy so I will again stir it take out all these lumps stir it slowly and I think this is enough now because it will get more thicker as it cools, cools down so I will leave it at this when this is thoroughly cooled I will add this to my mixture and I will keep it in the fridge for 20 minutes and then I will shape the cutlets so you can see the sauce has become thick and I am going to add the sauce into this I'm going to add all of this sauce here and I'm going to
and I'm going to mix this with this. So I have mixed the white sauce with the chicken. I will put this in a box and keep it in the fridge for 15 minutes and then I will shape the cutlets according to my shape round or long, elongated or square whatever I want. So I have taken this cutlet mixture out from the fridge. Of course I kept it for a little more longer time because I was going to make them in the evening. Here I have uh, pieces of bread which I am going to dry grind in the mixie for bread crumbs. So I have started making the cutlets. It's difficult to shape them with one hand. <laughs> I still have to get. Okay, so it's difficult to shape in one hand, but it's okay. First, a bit roll it in bread crumbs, then dunk it in whipped egg. Again, dunk it in. Roll it in bread crumbs. So this cutlets, I'm again going to keep it in the fridge for two, two or three minutes and then I'm going to shallow fry it in oil. So here I have my oil heated up. So I have the oil heated up and now I'm just going to slowly dunk in. I just left these in the freezer for a minute because I have to fry them now so I just let them shallow fry them they should not so just shallow fry them on medium flame okay Everything else is cooked inside. We just want the outer layer a little bit crispy. That's it. So, just shallow fry them. The remaining, I'm going to just pack them like this in the box and keep it. So, in the freezer. So, you can remove them out whenever you want and just fry them okay so this is enough we don't need to get them more cooked because everything is cooked inside we just need the outer layer crispy so here I think oh the aroma of the fried bread is awesome 